Today we're going to be doing fruit hacks. For those who actually eat durian, you would know that when you eat it with your fingers, the smell tends to linger. And if you wash it with soap, you only smell soap mixed with durian. This hack is supposed to get the smell off your hands. I'm not a fan of durian. Oh. <coughs> a lot of flesh on my fingers and I'm not going to lick it off. So I'm going to use a tissue to take off the flesh before I wash it underwater. <laughs> the smell is still there. So, fret not, we have a solution. Wash your hands with the seed and rub the brown area, not the white area. Now for the big test. Wow! It actually pretty works. Oh my... Yeah, it works. I would say about 95% of the smell is gone. Everybody I know eats the apple from around the side leaving the core and you're wasting about a third of the apple by doing so. But if you eat the apple from the bottom, you'll find there is no core. It is a myth. Let me show you. <laughs> Kitty. There's a little something in there. I'm not going to deny it if you can see it. But it's totally edible and there is no core. <laughs> I'm going to show you a really easy way to cut a watermelon. Cut the watermelon in half. See my two lovely juicy melons. Yeah. <laughs> I had to do it. Okay, I'm going to not be dirty. With this half of the melon, make me. You, you want to cut slices like so. Spin it around and then cut the other way. And that's all you have to do. From then on, you just take your slice and you've got your own watermelon stick. So here's a little hack for watermelon slices. Usually when you eat the watermelon, the sides end up touching your face and it can be quite irritating, especially for the girls out there or guys that wear makeup. Here's a simple way. You just cut those two ends off. Voila! Very juicy watermelon, very dry face. Thumbs up. So here we have a kiwi fruit. Most people would either peel the skin off or shave the skin off with a knife. But there is actually a much easier way. Cut the kiwi in half, grab your spoon, go around the skin like so. There you go. That's how I eat it anyway. And so you've got something to grab onto. Mmm, it's sour. <laughs> but it's nice. Or another way is you just cut off the ends, grab your spoon, and push, spin the spoon around. Voila! Look at that! I love Ooh! I love kiwis. Might not look it, but I actually really love kiwis for the sourness. <sighs> Good stuff. So here we have a banana, and most people try and open it by the top. Dig and dig, and you get your nails in. That can be pretty irritating to do sometimes, so we should copy the monkeys. What they do is pinch the bottom and split it. <gasps> you got a banana. <laughs> got a little bit excited. <laughs> this one's about strawberries. Most people would try to cut the stem off with a knife, but there is an easier way. All you need is a straw. Put the straw at the bottom and just Ooh, whoa, look at that! That was really easy. Mm. Oh, this one's really sour. There's many ways you can actually cut a mango, but I think this way is really cool. Give it a try. Cut as close to the seed as possible. All you need is a glass, push down, and voila. As you can see, all the flesh is gone, none wasted whatsoever. Here you have all the flesh. Mm. No hassle. Say for example you want to make a fruit salad and you want to cut a whole bunch of grapes in half. You have to sit there, cut one by one. It's quite tedious, but there is a faster way. Two plates, one bum up, put the grapes on top of the plate, and then you want to grab your other plate, put a bit of pressure on the plate, and then slice in the middle. There we go. Look at that! You can also do this with cherry tomatoes. I saw this hack online and I just wanted to test to see if it worked. It totally worked! All these years I've been cutting tomato, cherry tomatoes, one by one, and I could have done it like this. And that's it for this episode. If you have any more fruit hacks you would like to share, please leave a comment below. Or if you don't, perhaps you can let us know what you think of the show and if we can make the show better for you. I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next episode. Mwah.